Every single day we get emails and calls asking us, you know, we've been told by our doctor this is all we can expect. Um, can you do something more for us? And the answer is yes. My name is David Petrino. I'm the director of the Abilities Research Centre at Mount Sinai. The mission of the ARC is to take technologies that we think can help people um, but aren't currently in common clinical usage and accelerate them through to the point where everyone in the hospital is using them. We work with the full spectrum of performers at the ARC. Uh, so currently we're using brand new technology to help a gentleman with a brainstem stroke who has no movement other than the ability to blink, um, all the way through to some of the highest performers on the planet. So whether you are an Olympian or someone who can only blink their eyes, what we do is we try to characterize your level of performance. We find technology that will bring out the absolute best in you. And then we put you on a path to taking what you can do and making the most of it. We currently have a project running where we're using virtual reality to treat chronic neuropathic pain. Chronic neuropathic pain is a condition that affects almost everybody who has a spinal cord injury. And what we've found is that virtual reality can help this. We're also studying the effects of gamification of uh, physical therapy using wearable technology and video games to um, see if we can integrate physical therapy into the home in a cost-effective, safe, and practical environment for people who are recovering from neurological injury. We also uh, run the largest community embedded uh, remote patient monitoring program in the country. It's called TIPS, the Telehealth Intervention Programs for Seniors. We're now in five states, uh, uh, about 30 to 40 TIPS sites thousands of older adults and we've saved the local government of the, loca of the locations where we have TIP sites millions of dollars in healthcare costs. We have a lot of people who wish that they could join the program uh, but simply can't afford it because um, insurance doesn't pay for robotic rehabilitation so people need to pay out of pocket at this stage. If we could have donors, we would be able to wildly scale this program to the, the size of the wait list that we have. What we really excel at is creating technologies that are practical and scalable very, very quickly. So they really are as impactful as there is support for them.